hello there well today I was bored and well my father went to buy bread he came back and he found uh, a pump a water pump for uh, windscreen winds oh sorry windscreen wipers there it is so I made myself a little homemade water cooling system with some parts that I had laying around there's the pump this is the reservoir a little tub of ice cream here we have something to read the pressure in bar because fuck the international system right we have a CPU block which used to be a tower cooler but I have to cut the tower part and it's now just a CPU block this is the black return line this is the line that comes from the pump this is the cold side and this is the hot side the black tube which is going inside this radiator which used to be an Accelero 2 I think Accelero 2 Turbo maybe cooler for a graphics card which well I had bent the heat pipes on it and the the gas escaped so I turned it into a radiator and that's the radiator and then it finally comes out the water finally comes back to the reservoir through this tube well let's turn it on shall we I had I know this pump isn't supposed to be submerged this pump isn't supposed to be submerged but this pump is designed to run for about 30 seconds at 12 volts and it overheats if you don't, if you don't cool it in any way so I have submerged it so it can be cooled down so I am water cooling my water cooling pump basically so let's turn this thing on plug this in, I'm just powering it with a 12 volt supply right here here we go, it makes a lot of noise and as you can see the water is flowing and we have one bar of pressure uh, this thing is pretty restrictive this thing is pretty restrictive the C in between the CPU block and the radiator it makes up for a pretty restrictive, restrictive system but the cold side can handle the the pressure perfectly that's why I have zip tied all of the connections so far I have been testing this thing at this pressure and it runs perfectly fine and just let's take a look at, at the flow rate it's crazy it seems just crazy the flow rate is like well, I don't know but this thing it empties the, the whole tub in like 15 seconds you can look up the model number it is an MES 900957MD see the flow rate for yourself I don't know what it is I haven't bothered to look so there we go that's our head pressure in the cold side one bar and now I just need something to put under this little CPU block. Hmm. Maybe a Pentium 4 that I can overclock to 4.5 gigahertz or so. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> 